There are divergent views by many Nigerians about the performance and impact of the Tinubu administration on the state of affairs four months in as socioeconomic conditions continue to worsen following the removal of fuel subsidy. The targeted palliatives designed to cushion the effect of subsidy removal is having little or no impact on many residents in Kano who argue that the government needs to do more. Idris Dibrin tells us more. 100 days and counting. That is the duration of President Bola Ahmad Tinubu in office. One may say it's too early to measure the performance of the president, but not according to these people who threw into the market on daily basis to buy food. It is the subsidy removal that further complicates things for most Nigerians. However, within the last 100 days, Tinubu says he has saved over 1 trillion naira from the subsidy, but resident in Kano are yet to start feeling the impact. We are now coping very well. The current situation is very hard, very... We are not even coping well. But we are just thanking God. Things are getting out of hand. What we believe that this new government will give to us is no longer what we are seeing. This is just 100 days in office and things are like this. I will still have more three years and uh, 200 and something days to go. So the thing, things are not going well. Across the commercial city of Kanu, fuel is now sold at between 650 naira to 700 naira per litre. In order to ease the suffering of the poor, some philanthropists are subsidizing the price to as low as 415 naira per litre. It was uh, a call from Her Excellency that government alone cannot do everything so you should help people around you so that is why this good samaritan decided to help people around him that is nigerians with uh, palliative of fuel for the whole nigeria so we flagged off uh, last week in Maiduguri and abuja for north central and Port Harcourt for South South. And yesterday we were in Lagos. So now we are here in Kano. In a recent news conference, the APC Amalgamated Support Group in Kano assured that the current hardship is only temporary and that there is renewed hope for national development. We have met a lot of serious things on ground which realistically they are true. To him to have even have the confidence not to lie to the Nigerians before and during campaign, he said, I'm going to remove so uh, fuel subsidy. Whether you elect me or you don't elect me, I'm going to do it. And he, keeps, he kept his word. So that's to tell you this man is a gentleman. He said, fuel subsidy has been a problem to us. It's like you having a family problem at home. It's not an easy thing for a day to solve it. But I assure Nigerians, the assurance you are asking on behalf of Nigerians is this is just 100 days. And I assure you, the refineries are about to experience serious uh, engineering renovation. Now, with hundreds of people rushing to a filling station like this to buy less expensive petrol, the price of food items and other essential commodities continue to skyrocket. Concerns are growing that things may likely continue to get worse. Idris Jubrin, Trust TV News, Kano.